Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use ideas in Microsoft Excel. Ideas are available with the Office 365 subscription. Friends, as you are seeing my screen, I have this data, date, employee, product, location and sales amount. So we have this raw data and if we want to fetch some insights from this data, we can use the ideas. It is available on home tab, then you can see it is available here in the last ideas. If I will click on this, then it will process this data and will provide the insights or the suggestions. So you can see here few suggestions are available. Sales amount by location and employee, then it is giving the suggestion of this chart and then the frequency of the sales amount. Then it is giving few insights also. So if you like any insight, you can just click plus button insert pivot chart. You can see idea one seat has been created and it has this pivot table and the chart. And it is providing this insight employee carry sales amount has outliers at date 5th gen 8th gen. Automatically it fetches this insight and providing us this insight. If I will click on this button, it is saying so all 36 results so it has given few other suggestions you can click on this button to see that and now it is providing few other suggestions also all right so you can click on insert pivot chart or pivot table button it will insert that so here it is providing some other insights you can see you can insert that or you can type your question also here you can ask the question let's say so me top three employee by sales amount and you can just hit the enter now it has processed our question and in the answer it is giving this pivot table we can click on this insert pivot table button it will insert a new seat and the pivot table will be available there if you want to show this information on any chart not on the pivot table so you can type here on let's say column chart then automatically it will create this column chart and now you can click on this insert pivot chart and here you can see top three employees are available and it has created this pivot also and providing the title and same title for the chart also all right friends you can use this down arrow which is the task pen option and from here you can move this if you want to move or you can resize this if i will click on resize then you can see you will be able to resize this using this button if i will click on move then i am able to move this out from the pen and i can change the size as per my requirement so here i can type my question let's say average sales amount by location press enter then here you can see this is the average sales amount by the location if you want to see in table view you can type here table and it will change it to the pivot table or if you want to see it let's say in pie chart you can type here pie chart automatically it will create the pie chart or if you want to read in donut chart then it will change the chart into donut chart now you can simply click on insert pivot chart and it will insert new idea here the same chart will be inserted so it is quite useful automatically it can fetch the insights from your table so now we have table here it is fetching all the ideas from this data so this is table view you can see friends here we have the table design and this is the table one it will work on the normal range also this is not the table it will work here also but it works properly when you are using table so if you are using the table then it will keep the more perfect result make sure you have the proper headers in your data and you don't have any merge cell or something like that so it should be the proper table then it will provide you the proper insights now here i will show you it will work in this range also so you can select this go to the ideas now it is giving me that suggestion automatically 
So here you can see the suggestion or you can just type anything here. It will provide you few questions also. You can just click on that then automatically it will show that or you can type your own question. Now here we have few other options. You can see we have one option which field interest you the most. So let me go to this table and let's click on ideas and then I will click on that setting button which is which fields interest you the most. Just click here then it will open all the fields from your table and here you can select which are the important for you so let's select date here and here you can decide the aggregation you don't want to aggregate that then you can select not a value and let's take the sales amount and here automatically it is taking some if you want to take average you can take average also now let's click on update so we have selected two fields now automatically it will give me all the suggestion on the base of those two fields all right and you can type any question here and we have few questions here like total sales amount of mumbai which is the most common location if i will click here then it is giving me this chapter and the count of the locations also and we can type our question in natural language it will process that natural language question and it will provide the output in a visual form. Alright friends, friends I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.